Hello, my name is Grady, and I'm here to show you One Minute Reader Live. It's a program to help me improve my reading. Before, I read slowly, made lots of mistakes, and had trouble sounding out words. But working through the steps in One Minute Reader Live is helping me read more words. And now, the stories make more sense to me. Let me show you how to work in One Minute Reader Live so you can improve your reading too. This is the Read Live homepage. Your teacher will show you how to get here. To log in, I click the student button. My teacher gave me our school's account number, which the program remembers, along with a user ID and password that I have to enter. Then I click the login button. Logging in takes me to this page. From here, I click this button to go to One Minute Reader Live. The very first time I logged in, the program asked if I wanted help deciding which level is right for me. They call it placement. I answered yes. If you pick no, you can always get back to placement later from this select a book page. My teacher walked me through placement. We just picked a level to try. Then I read a story at that level for one minute. After I read a story during placement, the program said if the level was a good fit. This level might not be challenging enough. Try reading the story from one level higher. The first one I read was too easy, so I tried the next level higher. And it was just right. This level seems like a good fit. Since I found a good fit, when I clicked Next, it took me to the books at the right level. Your teacher might have you do placement or just tell you what level to work in. If you don't do placement, it starts you in the easiest level, but you can pick a different level here. Like I said, I did placement when I first started, but since then, I've already finished one book. The star shows the book I've already finished. And I'm ready to pick my next book in this level. Please select a book. Did you hear it tell me to select a book? On each page, the audio tells me what to do. If I don't hear the directions or don't remember what to do, I can click here. Please select a book. When I point to a book, I can see the stories in it. This one looks interesting. Please select a story. I can pick any story I haven't finished yet. I click the one I want to read. Click Start Timing and begin reading. Click on the words you don't know to hear them read to you. Click Finished if you finish reading before the bell sounds. Before I click Start Timing, I want to show you a few things. Check out the progress bar. It shows the one-minute real-life steps. This little arrow points to the step I'm working on, cold read. Right next to the progress bar are my points. I don't have any for this story yet, but I'll earn points as I go. To move on, I need to click Next. But look, the next button's grayed out and can't be clicked until I finish everything I need to do on this page. If I can't move on, I click this star to find out what to do. For the cold read, I need to read the story for one minute. Here's one more handy thing to know about, the reading guide. Once I start the timing, I can move the reading guide to highlight each line as I read. I like to have the reading guide on so I don't lose my place, but I can turn it off before I start if I don't need it. Now, I'll show you how to do the cold read. I click Start Timing, and the clock pops up to tell me the timer's running for one minute. Imagine walking on the beach. Suddenly. Suddenly, the sand under your feet starts to move. I clicked that word because I follow the three S rule. I click on any word I stop on, stumble on, or want to skip. I do the best I can, even if it's kind of hard. Reading the story gets easier as I move through the Not steps. very dangerous. Spread out your arms and legs. Click on the last word you read when the bell sounded. Did you hear that sound? Every time I hear it, I know my points went up. Look at my cold read score. It shows the number of words I read in one minute.
Click next to continue. To move on, I click next. Look at how many words per minute you read. The blue bar shows my score, and it's here too. That's enough for now. When I'm ready to stop for the day, I have to click log out and return to the student login page. The next time I enter the program, it will open to the page I was on when I left. Now it's your turn to try one minute reader live. Log in, go through placement, or pick a level. Select a book, select a story, do the cold read, and check out your graph.